Hi there, Daniel Daya at Craftiest Yarning. Today we're doing this crochet top. It's a sleeveless v-neck design. It's also a crochet vest. And it has a half cable in the middle of the front and the middle of the back. So in a way it's also a crochet cable top. And if you look closely at the sleeve edges, the neck and the bottom edges, there's this really attractive crochet border that we're going to be doing in the shell stitch. The main stitch we'll be using is the double crochet stitch. But every now and then, we're going to be using the treble stitch, slip stitch, and the single crochet stitch. And of course the shell stitch. And we're doing left-handed crochet, and in just one size, small to medium. You will need only a basic kit for this crochet top. First off, you will need just one 300 gram ball of double knit yarn. And I chose this lovely color here because I decided that today I needed a blue crochet top. You'll need a size 3.5 millimeter crochet hook for the main parts of the top. And you'll need a size 3 millimeter crochet hook for the edgings. A pair of scissors, some stitch markers, and you'll need a yarn needle. We are doing the back now and we start with a slip knot. Then we chain 91. We've got our 91 stitches. So now we make a double crochet into the six stitch from the hook so you count one two three four five six and you make a double crochet into that six stitch okay and then you make another double crochet into the stitch next to it then you chain one you miss a stitch and you double crochet into the next stitch after that And another double crochet into the next stitch make a chain miss the next stitch double crochet into the next one after that the next two stitches so that's our pattern stitch okay and what we want to do is we want to create 41 stitches to the middle of the back okay so you would count your 41 stitches. This first chain stitch here would, would serve as your first double crochet or your first stitch. So you'd count one and this would be a chain stitch. It includes a chain stitch as well. So you'd count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, until you get to stitch number 41. That's the stitch that you must have before we start the cable stitches. We've reached the middle of the back. We've got our 41 stitches. And stitch number 41 should be a chain stitch. So we're going to do six stitches for the cable. Okay, so you miss the next stitch and you do double crochets into the next six stitches after that. So we've done our six double crochets into those six stitches there. So what you do is chain one and then you continue with the pattern to the end of the row. So you chain one, miss a chain and double crochet into the next two chains after that. And you continue with the pattern to the end of the row. At the end of the row, we should chain one, skip one, and then do a double crochet into that very last chain there. Okay, so we should have 41 stitches on either side of the cable stitch in the middle of the row. Okay, 41 stitches there, and then 41 stitches to the end. 
and this is the foundation row. So we turn our work around and we are on row one for the tail end to the left of the work. And what we are going to do is do row one and then row two and we repeat row one and row two for the rest of the back. Okay, so on row one we chain three and that's how we start every row by chaining three. Okay, chain three. So this chain three means that we've got one double crochet and then that third chain there serves as a chain stitch. And then yarn over and double crochet, skip one and double crochet into those next two double crochets there, following the pattern as before. Okay, chain one, skip one, double crochet into the next two. And let's continue like that till we reach the middle of the back where we've got those six stitches for the cable stitch. We are here at those six stitches for the cable, half cable, in the middle of the back. And what we are going to do is we are going to skip the first of those three stitches and we are going to do a treble crochet or triple crochet into the last of those six stitches. Last three of those six stitches. So make sure you've chained one there, skipped one there, and then you yarn over twice, skip the first three stitches, and then insert your hook from front to back, catch the yarn, pull it through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through another two, yarn over, pull through the last two loops, we've done one treble crochet there. And then yarn over twice again, and we do another treble crochet into the next stitch there. Two treble crochets done. Let's do a third one into the third stitch there. So we've done our three treble crochets into the last of those six stitches. So we go back to those stitches that we skipped and we do a triple crochet into each one of them. So yarn over twice and insert your needle front to back into the first one. Catch the yarn, pull it through. And let's complete our treble crochet there. Okay, that's one done. Yarn over twice. And insert your needle front to back for the next one. Catch the yarn, pull it through. Let's complete the second treble crochet. Yarn over twice. Insert into the third and final one there. finished our our half cable there on this row so you chain one skip one and double crochet into that pair of stitches there okay, chain one skip one and double crochet into the next two and carry on with this pattern stitch to the end of the row. At the end of this row and every row, you chain one, skip one, and you double crochet into the middle of the very last, the middle of the very last double crochet there. And then you turn your work around to begin row two. And you chain three. That's how you begin every row. Okay. And then you skip the next stitch and double crochet into the next two stitches. Okay, chain one, miss one, double crochet into the next two. Chain one, miss one, double crochet into the next two. Okay, so we continue like that, like before, till we get to those middle stitches for the half cable. We are there at those six stitches for the half cable. Make sure that you've chained one there, then you skip that next stitch, 
and then you double crochet into the tops of those six cable stitches. Okay, so you do a double crochet there, the first one, and then the next, and then the next one there. So you've made your six double crochets into the top of those six cable stitches and be sure that you make a double crochet not a treble on this row okay and then you chain one this one double crochet into the next two and you continue with the pattern to the end of the row okay so that's row two so you repeat row one and row two until your work measures 12 inches or your desired length to the armhole. This is how your work should look when you've worked 12 inches from the beginning to the armhole. 12 inches or your desired length. And you should have 88 stitches altogether. You have the 6 stitches for the half cable in the middle of the back. And then there are 41 stitches on either side of the cable area. Okay, so that's 88 altogether. Now we are going to do the armhole decreases and we're going to start by decreasing 5 stitches at the beginning and end of this right side row. And it's the right side row because the tail end is to the left. Okay, so to cast off or bind off those first 5 stitches we are going to do some slip stitches. So you insert your hook into the next stitch there. Pull up a loop and pull it through even that loop on the hook there. And then you continue like that, insert into the next stitch, catch the yarn, pull it through both loops. Okay. Insert it into the next stitch, pull through a loop and pull it through the stitch on the hook. And we continue like that until we get to the sixth stitch there. So we're on stitch number six and we've decreased five stitches altogether by slip stitching. So we continue with the pattern, we chain three, chain three after those decreases that serves as your first double crochet and then you double crochet into the next stitch after that. Chain one, skip one and continue with the pattern to the last five stitches of the row. At the end of the row, you leave those last five stitches unworked. And you turn your work, you're on the wrong side, and just simply pattern to the end of the row. You don't do any decreases on the wrong side, just the right side. So you pattern to the end. We are back on the right side of the work, and we are going to decrease one stitch at the beginning and end of this right side rows and the next four right side rows. And you can use whatever decrease method you prefer, but this is an easy decrease method. It's also a slip stitch method. So to decrease one stitch there, we insert the hook into that very first stitch. Pull up a loop, insert the hook again into the second stitch. Catch the yarn, pull up a loop. We've got three stitches on the hook, yarn round hook. Pull through three stitches and we've decreased one stitch over those two stitches there and we chain three and continue with the pattern skip one double crochet into the next two skip one double crochet into the next two so we carry on like that and we do the same thing over these two stitches at the end of the row and you continue decreasing like that over the next four right side rows and if you find that you decrease just before a chain stitch, if the, a chain stitch follows your last decrease, just convert the chain stitch into a double crochet. So you'd have three double crochets in a row. Okay. So let's continue like that. And at the end of your decreases, you should have decreased 20 stitches altogether and should have 68 stitches left. 
And when you have your 68 stitches, you continue straight until the back measures 8 inches from the beginning of the arm, armhole shaping. So as far as the front is concerned, you work it the same way as the back up to the armhole. And then we start shaping the armhole and the v-neck at the same time, which means we're going to divide the work into right front and left front. And this would be the right front. So at the armhole edge of this right front, you would bind off five stitches using that slip stitch method, just as, exactly the same way as we did for the back. And you'd work it in the same way as half the back. Okay, and then you work your stitches to where we have these six cable stitches in the middle of the back and you work just the two of them just two of the cable stitches there okay and that would be the right front we work only on these stitches for the right front so here at the armhole you'd continue decreasing and you decrease one stitch over the next five right side rows at the beginning of the next five right side rows and once your decreases are finished you should have decreased 10 all together at this armhole edge okay and then while you are decreasing there you're also decreasing at the neck edge of the right front and when your armhole decreases are finished you continue to decrease at the neck edge of the right front on every row you decrease one stitch on every row 18 times so you have decreased 18 stitches altogether and by the time your decreases are finished you should be left with 15 stitches and you continue on those 15 until your right front measures the same as the back from the armhole which would be 8 inches and you bind off that last stitch like you would have done for the back okay and as far as the left front is concerned you reconnect your yarn to the left front and you reverse the shapings you do it in exactly the same way as the right front but reversing the shapings and you'd work just these first two double crochets of the six in the middle okay and then those two those two stitches in the middle you leave them unworked okay so you continue with the left front to match the right front and then you bind off this is what our blue crochet top should look like once you've done the front and the back we've got our nice half cable in the middle of the front and we've also got it in the middle of the back so now we can join the front to the back at the shoulders remember we were left with 15 stitches at the right front shoulder and 15 stitches at the left front shoulder so we combine them to 15 stitches at the right back and 15 stitches at the left back shoulder there and then we can connect the front to the back at the sides and we do all the connections on the right side of the work and we use a simple whip stitch so you won't even be able to see where you did the seaming using the simplest of whip stitches okay to finish off the neck area let's start by picking up and single crocheting 41 stitches from the right front shoulder point to the middle of the v-neck part of the front remember we left two stitches unworked here so the space in between those two stitches that's the midpoint of the v part of the front so let's have our 41 single crochets up to that point and then we pick up and single crochet a further 40 stitches from there all the way up the left front to the shoulder point of the left front and then we pick up and single crochet 39 stitches along the back neck area before we start doing the single crochet right round let's change to the smaller crochet hook which is size three millimeters and let's use it to do the single crochet right round and then once that's done let's put a marker in the middle of the front v area there okay because we want to maintain the v-neck when we continue to do the edging for the front when you come to the end of your row of single crochet you connect the last stitch to the first one with a slip stitch and that slip stitch is going to serve as the first stitch for the next row so we've got our slip stitch there and the next thing we're going to do is skip the next stitch and do four double crochets into the next one after that okay and then we skip the next stitch 
do a slip stitch into the next one and then skip the next stitch do four double crochets into the next stitch after that So we continue like that, see, our shell stitch edge is starting to form. So we continue like that, we skip the next stitch, slip the next one, do a slip stitch into the next one, skip the next stitch, four double crochets into the next one, skip one slip stitch into the next one, skip four double crochets into the next one. And when you reach this point, which is the midpoint of the V, make sure that you put a slip stitch into this midpoint because you want to maintain the V and then you continue with the shell stitch pattern right round the neck edge and once your neck edge is finished you do the same for the armhole edges starting with a, a single crochet round and then you do the shell stitch round round okay and then at the bottom edge there you're going to do two rows or single crochet before you do the shell stitch finish off with and when you do the first round of single crochet what you do is you single crochet in between the double crochets you do your single crochets in between the double crochets okay because you want our bottom edge to be quite firm that's our crochet top all done guys our sleeveless v-neck with its shell stitch trimmings at the neck the armholes and the bottom edges and this crochet vest takes less than 300 grams of double knit yarn so it doesn't require a lot to make and you can also make it in a very short time and on top of that it will be a great addition to your summer wardrobe thanks for watching guys please like my video and please subscribe to my channel see you next time